Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to run our uh, YAML file. Right in the previous section, we discussed about how to configure that in a CIVD process, right? And one more thing I forgot to show you in the last video session time. If you comes to here, right? Uh, if you come down, there is a Git documentation. If you click that Git documentation, right? You will be able to see the all integrations, how you need to do step by step. The flow will be presented. If you click the first one, uh, after that, it will give you for all the documentation one by one. You can able to sort it out in case if something happening. Okay, I'll show you there are two different one way if it is not working. Second way, how to create that also I'll show you. Okay. Now we committed this one and I'm going to open for my documentation. CMD and checking for git status. And I have one file is ready. That is this BS file. And also git file it is there, okay. Git add and I just added one and also another file. This is the git hub one git add okay both the files added and git commit space iphone m i'm going to add for ml ml to ci okay just added and git push git push and i'm going to do it for orgn master okay you can uh, see here there are some actions i already done okay uh, don't worry there is a one thing it is done previous i just uh, testing purpose i just done that and i'm just i'm closing now okay now this is the page it will be there in the actions location okay now i'm going to commit now i commit the code now comes to here Refresh the page. Now, uh, now you can see it is failed. Even the build is not triggered properly. Starting only it is failed. See invalid workflow file. CI line. It is showing that validation. The work file is not valid. The process environment and all. It is not taking properly. Okay. Uh, because of this. It is failed so many times. Okay. Uh, browser stack access key. This particular one, every time it is failing, I tried so many possibilities, but even I removed this and I tried, but it is not able to work out for properly. Then what I decided, right? Just I came into here. I modified back this one. Okay. Then I came to here. I removed this particular environment variables. Because uh, now it is not working as expected that environment variable. I will try to uh, do another thing. Okay. Before that you can see NPX WDIO. This particular format you have to pass. Okay. Otherwise it will fail actually. Okay. Now again I am going to commit the two files. Okay. If I check the status. You can see there are two modifications happen. Just copy here. Git add okay and git commit iPhone M adding or updating file. 
git push master orgn master now i came outside then you can see it is triggering now it will wait it will take some time to hit actually even we can able to see into our browser stack also that particular trigger you check this one it is still on building one minute 16 seconds now if you go and see here if you refresh also now see it is already triggered two minutes back it is triggered if you see here as well two minutes happen okay still under progress for this to execute our script will be fair and a person guarantee because uh, I never modified the code and all, but it will fail. Okay. See, our script is what we are expecting. We need to expect by CAD CD process to hit from ML file to that particular flow that I done from here. Okay. It will complete execution and all once it is complete everything now everything is failed you can see two minutes back now just now two minutes back it is got failed okay if you click also it will take that uh, what exactly why it is failed and all we can able to see okay custom id is null because of that it is failing alpha value it will prepare for window or uh, video for you execution and all and it will show you the build also failed okay if you check that run location, don't worry about the second one. You can able to see the test location. You can see that uh, it is hitting for the browser with all the possibilities. It is checking for Chrome parameter, accessibility ID and all. You can able to see for all the execution here. Okay. Our script is failed, but we are able to hit for browser stack. Okay. This is a one process. Okay, and second process I'll tell you. In case if you are not able to get this proper way, understanding, okay, just click on new workflow. Okay, click on actions and then click on new workflow and come down, there is a, a Node.js configuration, come here. Okay, it will give you for all the uh, things, but uh, what exactly I explained here, similar format execute everything here. And okay, browser only. Okay, after that, you can click on commit changes. Then automatically it will commit into branch and also it will trigger for GitHub. Okay, that uh, actions also it will trigger automatically. Okay, once you committed. Okay, this is all about for running for CID CA process. Okay, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.